Sandra Brooks here, and you're watching I'm Hot TV, and this episode is going to be all about how to walk in high heels. So whether you've never slipped on a pair of heels before because you've always been kind of nervous, or maybe you like walking in heels, but you just need a little extra boost of confidence, this is going to be the perfect video for all of you guys. Some high heels can be tricky, and certain environments like grass or cobblestone can make walking in heels nearly impossible. Well, I'm going to share with you all the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way and picked up during my time in the fashion industry. Now, one of the first things that everyone's probably going to tell you when you're trying to learn how to walk in heels is to start small and to work your way up. This means start with the smallest heel that you can find possible and then work your way on up to those big, huge stilettos. Um, I do agree with this, but I also believe that it's really important to find a heel that's stable. Um, that's why I think it's a little bit easier to learn how to walk in heels in a chunkier, maybe a little bit taller, but definitely thicker heel, opposed to walking in a shorter heel that's very narrow because the wider the heel width is the more stability you're going to have because there's more surface area hitting the ground Another thing to think about that will give you more stability is an ankle strap not only are ankle straps fashionable but they are also functional as well Another great option for beginners is wedges. Wedges have more surface area that hit the ground which makes them more stable and also a lot more comfortable. Um, now, once you find your beginner heel, whether it be a kitten heel, a wedge, or a chunky heel, you're going to want to practice, practice, practice. I'm sure you've heard it before, practice makes perfect, and learning how to walk in heels is no exception. You're going to want to start out by putting one foot in front of the other. Ah, oh, it's rocket science. Um, but no, really, you're going to want to put one foot in front of the other in the heel to toe method. This means that the heel of your shoe is going to hit the floor first, followed by shifting your weight onto the toe of the shoe, and that's going to go like this, heel, toe, heel, toe. If you try to do this in reverse, toe, heel, um, first of all, this is going to feel really awkward and it's going to look just as weird. So you want to stay away from doing that. You also want to stay away from being horse footed. This means putting all of your weight down on the toe and the heel at the same exact time. This is going to make a stomping loud noise and it's not going to look very graceful at all. You're going to want to practice this heel to toe motion around the house. Practice it so much to the point where you don't have to think about it anymore. And then you'll just be walking and it will just flow gracefully. Now it's time to invent a signature walk. You can easily perfect your strut by practicing walking in a straight line. Now this sounds a whole lot easier than it is. So the best way to do this is to find a straight line anywhere you can find. Hardwood floors, parking lots, or straight lines and concretes are great options. You want to start at one end of the line and practice by looking at your feet and placing one foot in front of the other in the heel to toe motion. By doing this, you are creating an illusion of a more slender, streamlined frame. And this also causes your hips to sway, which is sexy and has a runway vibe. Now let's talk about your stride. This is different for everybody. Just keep in mind not to overextend. If your legs are overextended too far and you step on something slippery, you could unintentionally end up in the splits. And you don't want to take too little of a stride because this is going to take you a lot of steps to make it to your destination you are running late for your destination, chances are you're probably going to have to learn very quickly how to run in high heels. I'm not saying I'm late all the time, but I have definitely mastered this move. When you want to master the art of running in high heels, you are going to be aware of your surroundings. You want to make sure that you look at the ground because you're going to be moving fairly quickly. So you want to make sure that you scout ahead. Make sure that you're not going to be um, running into any potholes or different pavement. If you're going from concrete to grass, that could really mess up your whole entire day. So you want to be aware of your surroundings. All right, it's time to cover how to walk on unforgiving grounds, such as grass. If you're walking across grass, be sure to not do the heel to toe method. Instead, you're going to want to try to tippy toe across the grass. Otherwise, your heel will be digging into the grass. You could fall over and you could be damaging your high heels. If you're walking across uneven pavement, such as cobblestone, you want to make sure that you proceed with caution and glance down frequently. That way you can plan out your steps. Also, if you have a friend with you, you can lean on them for stability. Now it's time to talk about walking up and down stairs. Don't be scared. This is actually a whole lot easier than it sounds. And there's usually a handrail to help you out. 
always, always use that handrail. Even after you've mastered the art of walking in heels, I recommend using the handrail because slips happen to the best of us. When you're walking up the stairs, you actually want to put most of your weight on the front of your foot. If you were doing the heel to toe motion going up the stairs, it would actually be very easy to lose your footing and that heel could be hanging off the stairs and you could fall completely backwards. So you don't want to do that. As well, when you were coming down the stairs, um, you kind of want to put all of your pressure down at the same time. Um, if you're going heel to toe, that's okay too, but it's a little bit more safe if you put, like, you just plant your foot, you do that horse foot down those stairs, and it will get you down safely. Let's talk about high heel etiquette. We've all seen this before. It's late at night, and a girl is walking on the dirty concrete barefoot. That's because her feet are probably killing her and she did not bring any backup. Any fashionista will tell you that it's very important to always keep a pair of flats or a change of shoes with you at all times. You can get these like little fold up flats that you can even carry in a clutch nowadays. So there are no excuses, okay? I'm holding this shoe to show you that not all heels are created equally. You don't have a super high pitch to your arch because there's actually a hidden platform here that's two inches. So while the back heel may be six inches, the front platform is two inches, which actually makes this heel feel like it's a four inch heel. Ladies, it's very important that you don't forget to relax and smile. I want you to remember that the most sexiest thing you could ever wear is confidence. Hopefully by now you guys have mastered how to walk in high heels. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope to see you again soon. Keep it hot. Bye.